terms of the current system, because um, obviously, like we've caught up with it. Um, so let's say with all, let's talk about Becky Lynch and her push. Um, has it been the right time? Um, and obviously, the build up with potentially Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. Um, you know, first ever women uh, main event at WrestleMania potentially. Like, uh, how do you feel about the push in general for Becky Lynch? I think it's good. It's good. It's great. Like women's wrestling is at an all-time peak at the moment, right? All-time it's high. In, like, there, it's gone from something that was, like... A, yeah, it's just women's wrestling in general, like yeah. It was, like, a token thing. It was, like, a like a time filler thing. Mm. Uh, it was a novelty thing. And now it stands on par and sometimes greater than uh, the men's wrestling. And mm. they've got a star in Becky Lynch that is the equivalent of... Uh, a Roman Reigns or potentially depending on how much longevity ha she has like a John Cena mm. she can be the face of it like the way the WWE works now you don't have a face of the company anymore it's not no. like the era of Steve Austin or Hulk Hogan or Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels Th that time has come and gone mm. the brand sells the show mm. you don't go to watch oh I'm gonna go see Roman Reigns no 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 you're going to watch a WWE show mm. right so the brand sells the show the stars are almost interchangeable mm. but in that era to have a female star with the magnitude uh, and the the raw charisma uh, and the connection she has with the fans. Like, Becky is, I would say, the most popular person with the fans since Daniel Bryan at his peak, mm. right? Since Daniel Bryan, during the whole initial Yes movement, yeah, he was I one agree. of the few people that had that incredible with connection that. with the fans. Yeah. So Becky is at that point right now. Mm. I think it would be quite fitting for her to close out WrestleMania this mm. year with the World Championship. Yeah. Um, I think it's justified. There's been a few moments where it's felt like a token gesture where they mm. put... Uh, the, the female wrestlers in, in high-profile spots. But this is not a token gesture. This is very much death justified. Mm. There's no kind of um, adjustment or any kind of uh, tokenism going on. This is very much a justified main event. Becky versus Ronda Rousey, mm. who's obviously a huge star. And maybe Charlotte is the, in the mix as well. Maybe she has to babysit Becky at the, in the big match. But ultimately, mm. I expect Becky's hand to be raised. I think it's 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 hugely important that... The, the, they the, we, the WWE work with their women's talent in a in a much better way compared to previous years. Mm. You know, it's, it's definitely was, you know, you look back on Divas times and it you know it fitted the era possibly, but obviously as we all move forward, um, there needs to be a change. And one of the things more recently, I would definitely say that it's easy for people to say, oh yeah, you just watch the ladies because it's ladies. But if I'm really honest, the quality of the wrestling and the, the realness yeah, of the matches, it's, it's, I feel it's it. Yeah, it's know, I really you don't do get even it. look at them as it, 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 even like translate within music as well as another thing like you know females in the uk are like as respected now as our male counterparts i've been speaking to a lot of uh female rappers singers and would they get as much respect so then when i translate it within wwe terms it's like like i don't see them as women anymore i see them as just superstars as yeah, they would say on tv, doing a thing, yeah. as they like would say the, on TV. The, the whole the sexual component's been toned down you don't have to sexualize somebody to appreciate their no 100 you know what i mean so this is the thing that, and this is this is a good thing because yeah. now there's a level playing field like if you were watching wrestling with your daughter or your sister or your niece or whatever you, you wouldn't yeah. look at it and think this makes me feel weird you'd watch it and think you, you would know what be happy to watch it with you'd your be family and then you know with your family and also yeah. like you'd be happy for that female relative of yours to follow that profession mm. because okay you know there's loads of out there elements of it but it's a, it's a skill that they're honing. It's a craft. Mm. It's not unlike music or comedy or anything else. It's a skill. It's a craft. And when you perfect it, you deserve to show it on the biggest stage with the biggest plaudits. I hear yeah, that. Yeah, and who is anyone to say just because of your gender you can't do that? You know, no. back yeah. in the day, it's no. all about, you know, bra and panties matches, all this kind of exposure. But who is anyone to say that those guys, those ladies didn't have the talent, yeah. you know? And for instance, if anybody asked me what my favourite match at last year's WrestleMania was, I'm going to say Charlotte Asker. It was an amazing match. Yeah. I thought it was incredible. Oh, like, apart from far. that finish. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit mad. <laughs> How are you going to build somebody up with a three-year undefeated streak to have them tap out? No, nah, I, I was annoyed with that because it's like, you know, how... Yeah, exactly. How can you build someone so long to then just literally finish, finish them in one event? I to to that. have that mystique blown oh, in one go. I watched that in my friend Roman's office. I was gonna tear that office apart. I was so angry. <laughs> Worse than Brock, so when, angry. you know when Brock Lesnar like tore up Triple H's office yeah, yeah, yeah. like two th a couple I of years ago, like that. <laughs> I yeah. was so angry. Because yeah. it's so ridiculous. Sometimes their storytelling just makes me want to pull my hair out. Yeah. But you, this is the thing about wrestling. It's like wrestling 
sometimes is like a, an abusive spouse. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a bad boyfriend, a yeah. bad girlfriend. Wait, like you always you go just, back to it. Yeah, yeah you, you're gonna go back to it. What are you gonna do? Where <laughs> else are you gonna go? <laughs> AEW. Ooh. Oh. 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 Hey, listen. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm, listen. I wanted to bring that in real quick because um, obviously the whole talks of um, AEW. You know, certain wrestlers are um, you know supposedly leaving the company. We were talking off camera about Dean Ambrose leaving. Um, obviously, within AEW, you got like you know Chris Jericho, yep. uh, Kenny Omega. Now, the main talk is, I would say, is AEW a genuine threat to WWE? One hundred percent. There's money there. Now, as we've learned previously, money doesn't equal success because Dixie Carter had a lot of money. The Panda Energy Company, her dad, like they had a fortune, but they couldn't make TNA work. TNA's yeah. apparently lost something like five hundred million dollars over the course of its history. Oh lord! But the person, uh, Tony Khan, who is the son of Shahid Khan, the guy who owns Fulham, I think. Uh, yes, that's right. Fulham, that's right. The Jacksonville. That's Jaguars. right. Jacksonville Jaguars. So yeah, two that's right. Successful franchises. Yep. They're not going to put a hundred million dollars into something. For the sake of it, I'm sure they're fans of wrestling, and they, they there's a novelty element of it. Yeah, that, but, there's been talks of that. Yeah, so I mean, I, the competition maybe. Um, certainly, it's a good thing for it to be a viable place for wrestlers to go and work. Because mm. right now, when there's only one place for you to go and work, it's not good for the industry. Mm. And I like how WWE have tried to create their own competition with like NXT, mm. NXT UK. You know, there's talks of NXT uh, Germany. So. There's yeah, so and things. I think there's a couple other uh, territories yeah. that they're trying to put for they're NXT build, as well. And they're trying to build their own development system. But mm. ultimately, another place for talent to go and make work, go make some money, another place for them to go and work is a good thing. Mm. And it's a good thing for fans because you have more... The best era yeah. of wrestling, and I know people get sick in the uh, sick of talking about it, but the Attitude Era was great for that reason because mm. you had WCW on TNT and you had uh, WWE Raw on the USA Network or, or, or Sky Sports in the UK mm. and that channel surfing was real, man. Yeah. I was yeah. there. Yeah, I did yeah, it yeah, because yeah, in yeah. the UK, even though they happened on Monday, both of them in America, in the UK, they both happened on Friday. Friday yeah. <laughs> so you'd have to watch both. You have to do the channel surfing on yeah, the Friday. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's happening? <laughs> Especially if you knew, like when the Ultimate Warrior was debuting, mm. there was a match between Steve Austin and Mankind on the same show. I didn't want to miss either of those things. Nah. It's full-on flicking, mate. They changed the game. I mean, I think it's really good that we ha there is an, an, an another viable competitor or another viable you know company that good high quality talent can go and work for. It definitely mm. opens up the game, and mm. I think yeah, it gives people the access. Again, they won't be channel hopping so much, but they probably will be surfing. You know, trying to trying get to find that the internet latest. link to get those, and everyone's going to have their own network. You know, everyone's got their own networks now. They've got their own you know channels to. Put the product out there, and obviously the indie scene is growing oh, tremendously as well. As, like, yeah. people... it's all about that on-demand life now, man. Mm. Everybody's got one. Yeah. New Japan have New Japan World. Uh, Impact Wrestling have launched their own one as well. Yes, they have. Was uh, it G? Is it GN Network or GFW, something? G no, G so no, G GWN was, Network. Global Force was Jeff Jarrett's thing. Yeah, um, and then they separated. So for a while they rebranded. So TNA has been all over the place. It started as NWA TNA, then it was TNA, then it was Impact, Impact Wrestling, then it was GFW, and now it's Impact and, Wrestling and again. again. Yeah. So, so it's, it's kind of, of hopped over all over the place. Problem. Yeah. Because WWE, okay, WWE went from WWF to WWFE. To WWE. So it was WWE. Was it WWFE? WWFE. Oh yeah, because because obviously the legal yeah, so legal, the legal problems with the, another company. The F out campaign. Yeah, to and to, to make it WWE. Simpler WWE. Still turned that into a great campaign though. It was a great campaign. Yeah, it was, it was, it was the best. Thing, it was best thing for the company as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of that, uh, you can check uh, Progress Wrestling out on uh, on demand as well. Yeah. Got their own demand yeah, channel. Yeah, you, you, you went to we went to a few Progress Wrestling um events as well. Like um, chapter, we went to Chapter eighty three at Wembley. Yeah. Oh, that was Cool. That was cool. It was amazing yeah. to see an indie play Wembley Arena. Yeah, that was huge. So that was that was great. That was crazy. Sold there. Was it two was it? two plus two thousand plus seats? Wow. I think they had seven thousand. Seven thousand. Was it seven? Yeah, that, like that. Uh, oh right. I thought we should check our facts, but yeah. I'm pretty sure, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I it was like should, it was closer yeah. to seven than two. Right. I don't know if it was seven, but it was the biggest indie show there. I remember years ago I went to Wembley Arena to watch World Wrestling All Stars. Oh, I went to that show. Is as well. it, uh, <laughs> is it where they did the commentary over the on the PA system? On the PA system. Oh man, it was the it first was weird. time I'd seen that. <laughs> yeah. So the commentary, you know, you don't only get commentary if you're watching on TV mm. at the Wembley Arena show that WWA did. Yeah. They had it over the PA system, so you could hear it while you were in the stands, the commentary. It, oh, it was shit. really weird. That's, That's crazy. a really bizarre thing. Was Bret Hart on that show? Bret Hart was on that. He yeah. was the commissioner. Yeah, he wasn't wrestling, was he? he? Wrestling. No, I remember. But yeah, I yeah, think yeah. He put, Still drew me he in. He put Jeff... Je no, he put Scott Steiner in the in the sharpshooter. Cool. I remember that. Oh, wow. 
Good memories. That, wow. Uh, wow, you got you got good. Well, that's what I say. It only came later in the game, um, in the early 2000s. So like, I'm, again, I'm still learning. That would have been yeah. 2003. That was before his stroke, uh, but after he, he after WCW yeah, folded. Yeah. yeah, there was you know I, I love the fact that you know people out there that are younger than us you know that can get into this 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 entertainment you know it's so fantastic to have the outlets available you know to be able to go to Electric Ballroom in Camden to watch live wrestling for you know twenty yeah. quid to be able to go and see any of the you know uh, Rev Pro to go and see. Um, frontier any of them you know mm-hmm. you could you could go um and check it out for not too much money and see some quality talent and you've got world of sport wrestling on tv as well yeah. so you know exposure's high you know and people really want to see and you can go out there and get you know and go and get involved in some pro wrestling and i guarantee if even if you're not a big fan i think that when you're there in a live atmosphere particularly for a progress show open the doors at two o'clock get your beers in and you're gonna have a great time yeah, you're gonna have a great or time or a diet coke whatever you want yeah, yeah or diet coke, <laughs> well, in, in, in want. his case i just want to touch up quickly on um uh wrestlemania coming up um in terms of the matches we've got uh first thing that comes to my head is uh seth rollins uh versus brock lesnar for the universal championship are we going to see seth win the title off brock yes yeah i think this was because i mean last year was a big flop there was so there was it was speculated for, for over a year and a half for roman reigns to uh, to pick the title from him at last year's WrestleMania, and yeah. it didn't happen. And obviously, the contract uh, he re- uh, Brock resigned yeah, yeah. for uh, uh, another deal. And obviously, it seems like Brock Lesnar is now leaving after WrestleMania. But we've heard that before. So, are we seeing Seth uh, drop um, uh, Brock drop the title I to think Seth? There's a, there's a few reasons it will happen. It was different last year because they wanted to continue the story. They had to market the greatest Royal Rumble event in yep. Saudi Arabia, so they needed a big match for that. Yeah. And that WrestleMania almost took a back seat. I don't know if you remember, but when those two shows were lined up, mm. the greatest Royal Rumble card was significantly better than WrestleMania. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. The card, sure, was yeah. I think, is the right end to that story. Every, there's a lot of sympathy still for Roman Reigns, as there should be. Because uh, he's going through a major thing, I don't think this was the original the original plan. I think no, it, was it wasn't. It was it was for Roman Reigns. It I I heard rumors it was meant to be Reigns versus The Rock and The Rock to be at the Royal Rumble, uh, win win the Rumble and then go on to face Roman Reigns for the title. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's possible, but yeah. I just I can't imagine The Rock having that mon- that many dates free. No, nah, because of, because of his career, of Hollywood got, I mean, career. The Rock, I mean, I think you can get him every now and again when he's free, but I don't think you can get him for a long term program. But you even seen, um, yeah, we was talking off camera that actually with with his uh, new movie A Hobson Shaw that Roman Reigns actually features. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. See, this is the beautiful thing about wrestling, right? Is it makes everything else more interesting. Yeah. So if you, I, I probably wouldn't have watched Hobbs and Shaw to be honest with you, but now that I know Roman Reigns is in it, I might. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I no. Watched... Okay. So obviously Rollins and uh, Lesnar. What about um, what about the whole change of persona with uh, Daniel Bryan and the whole Hemp Championship? I uh, love it. Yeah, well, I, I love it. Any chance? I love it. I love his change. Of, do you know what? It was me. all. Uh, the only thing I didn't agree with it, it was all so sudden, but it worked. Because we liked him as a heel before. Like, you know, when he had this no, no, yeah. no movement. Team Hell No with Kane. Yeah. You know. Brian is a ex- he's underrated on the mic. But I think it's like... like it's what Bret Hart used to say this, right? The best characters are the ones that come from within you. Yeah. The real version of you, right? So even Steve Austin said the same thing. He's like, like when I go on TV, I'm just me, but with the volume turned up. Oh, yeah, cranked right? up, yeah. So, and that's exactly. what... Da- Daniel Bryan is an environmentalist. Yeah. Right, Daniel Bryan, if you watch Total Divas, Total Bears, yeah. you'll watch him be borderline condescending with his wife when he talks about environmental yeah. stuff, right? Talks about compost toilets and all sorts of things <laughs> that are yeah. crazy and wild. So when they let that part of his personality shine and in, in, a, in a caricature almost, yeah. right? Like only Vince McMahon could make an environmentalist a bad thing, but that's fine. Like it's, <laughs> it's great though. His character is hitting for me. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. promos are, are like, can't miss right now. No, so he can't. I like the character. Yeah. I don't see him dropping the belt at Mania. No. What about you, Loz? I, I think it will continue. The belt's great. I think you give a guy some context like that and he can go for miles, you know, you can really take that story to a different How a different do you, direction. do you like the belt? Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Again, it gave extra... He kept saying he was getting the belt coming. We didn't yeah. know what it was going to be, you know. And, and then it came through. It's wooden. Well, it's hemp. Or hemp, and yeah. It's just, you know, again, it's a great idea. I think you give somebody some context, 
yeah, perfect time for them to let, let a little bit of freedom with the creative. I, I would say that I, I'm, I don't, you know, I wasn't working in, in any backstage industry, but I'd love it if I had a bit more creative freedom to the guys. I think yeah. Need it, you know? I, think he's got, I think he's got a lot of it. Like the way he's delivering it. Like, you know it, when he came through the crowd and he's going, impotent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> love so that. funny. I loved this it. This is comic I genius. I absolutely loved like, it. The, yeah. Okay, so there's a, there's a debate to be had, like whether your WWE champion should be a comedy figure. But you do know that he delivers the goods in the ring. Now, Elimination Chamber's around the corner. He's got a big, like, so this is a chance for him to remind everybody that, yes, I am quite funny and inter- entertaining on the mic, but in the ring, I'm a I'm badass. I'm serious. I'm the baddest. Yeah. I'm, I'm baddest out here. Yeah. Um, I could see that happening. No, nah, def- definitely. Um, and then what, it, what else have we got on the card uh, at WrestleMania? Uh, oh, hold up. I just want one thing. Yeah, um, go on. Atif, please, can you tell us your idea for the end of WrestleMania? Because I heard this earlier and I just think it's too good. Okay, well, I mean, ideally, it's Becky Lynch with the belt. Yeah. But if not... If the men's finish if, WrestleMania. If the men's finish WrestleMania, then I'd like to see Seth Rollins beat uh, Brock Lesnar, have Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns come out, hoist him on over their shoulders and finish with like a shield reunion one last nice. time oh, before yeah, Ambrose bump, goes off. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so obviously yeah, so one of, the, one of those ones. Yeah. I, I, I mean, so I'd like for them to finish Mania like that, yeah. ideally, because obviously Ambrose is going to be gone after Mania and Reigns uh, is still uh, out of action. So it will be a nice way to commemorate mm. an, the first face Reigns for Rollins. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 we, do you think it'll be finished with the men's or finish with the ladies, both of you guys? I, I think the ladies I are think the ladies. Yeah. They have to because I think they've built up so much momentum with the women over the uh, over the course of a few years now. Like women's ev- time, revolution, right, you had evolution yeah. last year. So many first matches for the ladies. It's like you you have to. I mean, it's it's a draw. Like Ra- Ronda Rousey is a draw. Like literally a box office star everywhere. And then obviously Becky Lynch is one of the hottest um, superstar yeah. commodity. Full stop in mm. in the company right now. So for them two to finish, I mean, do you believe that? Uh, do you want it? Do you believe that Charlotte Flair will be added to the match? Yes. Yeah. There's nowhere else to put. <laughs> I think it's some way. I mean, because you because Charlotte Flair is is great with bringing that athleticism. Uh, I can't even say the word, but uh, that athleticism. athleticism. Yes, and uh, that the, she, that sort of raw great. energy. But I think because but obviously the... personalities with Rousey and uh, mm. Lynch would just kill it. In the park. They really the company's really big on Charlotte. You can tell. Like yeah. she got to break Asuka's three year streak. Yeah, she gets to hold. They, the they belt trusted her to do that. Time. Yeah. They, mm-hmm. So if if they go with a women's only main event. Uh, then they will almost definitely include Charlotte just because of the occasion of it, which I think is like I feel bad for people like Sasha Banks and Bailey who had a huge part to play yeah, in the women getting there. Yeah, hundred percent. They'll, they'll probably get their own they'll moment with there. the world with the tag team titles. I think just to say before, uh, sorry, sorry to cut you off, loves. Uh, like one of my favorite women's matches, like you know, prior to the biggest push of what it is now was when Bailey and Sasha Banks had those two matches, uh, NXT Brooklyn and uh, Respect. Yep. That that that, that for me solidified my belief that wrestling that wrestling is universal for everybody. Like I I can look at men equally the same as women. Like I don't see it as men or women. It's like literally they killed it out the park. They could also even rehash a few things. You know, I was really dead certain that the Royal Rumble just gone that Charlotte Flair was going to emulate her dad's 1992 run. She was going to come in number two and she was going to work her way through everybody. I didn't see that, but there is so much opportunity there as well. Yeah, but I, I believe, though, like the fact that they put her later on is... It, it, we're trying to put Charlotte in a different light to Ric Flair because Ric Flair has... Oh, no, of course. You've got to be your own entity, of yeah, course. Yeah. But, you know, if they really did, they could they could do... I wouldn't have minded seeing that. It would have been pretty cool. They've given Charlotte loads of things. They have, yeah. They have. I think she's had enough. <laughs> yeah, I think... Like, let her have the manias, but like, it's fine. Yeah. I don't, Obviously, I won't, I won't keep, her in the, keep her in the main event I'll picture. be very upset if she's the one who wins the world title and walks out of uh, WrestleMania. Yeah, so I, I, would like be, that, I would be as well. I, I would, yeah, because... I'd be I mean, tearing up I, 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 listen, I love I love Charlotte Flair in every sense of the word even backstage and behind the scenes and obviously we know about the behind the scenes stuff but yeah I don't think it's the, I don't think it's right for Charlotte to pick the title at Mania knowing that the focus is around Lynch and Rousey um, even though Charlotte brings that element bigger element to the match in terms of going forward now let's say like the you know Survivor Series SummerSlam are we expecting now that women are going to close the show regularly or is it a building process you reckon I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it shouldn't matter. I think as long as 
it's a hot feud or it's a it's a top match up idea mm. it should be there whether it be men whether it be women whether it be yeah. anybody you know i think that that's what's got to push it the story the content what it is rather than whether it's gonna be men or women i think eventually you get to the point where it'll be so merged that you won't notice yeah, yeah. you won't even notice it's that like, yeah, that's true. i think it's got to that point already where they've done all the firsts they've had the first women's royal rumble they've had the first women's pay-per-view the first main event pay-per-view with money, the in, the money in the bank they've done it all, done it all. So, that, so now it's not about firsts anymore and breaking boundaries the boundaries are broken yeah it's already so now broken. it's just about things on merit and they're so good now the women's roster is so talented that on merit you'll see a lot of them close out shows yeah you know by by 100 by merit i agree with that so um so yeah like i think if if you guys enjoy this content um and if you want to see more of this let us know in the comments uh, and then we'll do more of this we'll make regular visits and uh any new developments we see that we'll talk about it 